This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Cracked Paisley. This design is stitched by first starting with the teardrop shape and then you're going to go inside of that teardrop shape and fill it with cracks. And basically this is just a straight line uh, sharp angled version of tree roots. So you're just stitching these kind of straight jagged lines filling in trying to create a very boxy cracked crinkly texture inside that teardrop shape. And you can see I'm moving quite slowly and taking my time with this. It's a very tiny teardrop, so that means the cracks are going to be very tiny as well. You can make it a lot easier for yourself if you start with a bigger teardrop. Okay, now you're going to pivot and echo that teardrop shape as many times as you like. And this is going to build up the texture. It's uh, a throwback to Paisley. Paisley is created by simply stitching the teardrop and then echoing that teardrop. This time the only extra step was simply filling in with those cracked jagged lines. So you're going to surround that with several echoes and then branch off with a new teardrop and fill it in with cracks as well. It's a very simple design. If you wanted to use this on a quilt, I'd probably say it's going to work best on a wall hanging or an art quilt, something decorative, mostly because the crack texture is always going to be small and tiny. It's always going to be very dense, and that's probably not going to work very well on a bed quilt, unless, of course, you left it very open, and then the texture wouldn't really show up as well. A good choice for a bed quilt is paisley, just regular paisley, and that's stitched simply by stitching the teardrops and surrounding them with echoes. Very simple. So now I'm going to kind of work my way back to that starting point, pivot and echo around this shape. And you can see how I cut the design basically in half to fit it in that weird area. This happens. Uh, our quilts are not made to the fillers. The fillers are made to fit within the quilt. That's an important distinction. And because of that, you're going to occasionally have to break a filler in half. You're going to have to kind of squish it down, make it smaller, or just simply stitch only half of the design into the space so that way it fits properly. And that's the cool thing about fillers is once you memorize the basic set of rules for the design, you should be able to fit it anywhere in your quilts. Even if you wanted to put this in a bed quilt, it could fit, so long as you memorize the rules of how it worked, just like writing letters in cursive, and then use those rules to apply it to those areas of your quilt. And of course you'd want to stitch it on a very big scale in order to make sure that it wasn't too dense or too uncomfortable to sleep under. So I hope all that makes sense and you've gotten a good idea of how to stitch cracked paisley. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.